So what I have here is Tableau Public and this is public.tableau.com. You can just Google search Tableau Public or I'm also going to put this link uh, in the description. So here just come to Tableau Public and sign up an account and then you need your credentials to be able to publish to Tableau Public. And then you have Tableau Online. So for you to get access to Tableau Online, your server administrator, like your internal company administrator, needs to give you access. If you are the administrator of Tableau Online, let's say you purchased like the creator package and you are the administrator, you can just come in here and then you can sign in to Tableau Online using your Tableau credentials. And then what we have here is Tableau Reader. Tableau Reader basically allows people to look at your Twibix, that's TWBX file, and be able to just explore the visualization for free. And without, if, you, if they don't have access to Tableau Desktop. So basically, you can create a visualization using Tableau Desktop and then save it in a TWBX file type and send it to somebody that has Tableau Reader. And a person with Tableau Reader will be able to look at visualization and explore it, but they won't be able to do the same thing as somebody who has a Tableau desktop. So you can come to this URL to download Tableau Reader. With that being said, let me now show you how to publish your files. So let's um so right now I'm working with Tableau desktop and to publish my file to let's say something like Tableau online, right? Or to the server. If you have a server, if you have an internal company server, you click on server and then from here to tell you publish workbook. And this is where you put in the URL, the link to your server. But in this case, I'm not, I don't have an internal server. I am going to publish to Tableau Online. You can put in the URL to Tableau Online here. Or you can quickly click on Tableau Online. And it will take you to a page for you to sign in. So from here, you can enter your Tableau Online credentials. And then you can sign into Tableau Online. And if you don't have an account, you can create a Tableau online account from here. But for this demonstration, I'm going to use Tableau public. All right. So when you are in Tableau desktop, that, like I am in right now, you can publish to Tableau public. All right. But if you're working in Tableau Public, you don't have the option of servers. You can see there's no server up here. You can't publish to Tableau Online or Tableau Server from Tableau Public. Your only option is to save it online. You can't even save to your local computer. Your only savings option is to save to Tableau Public. So, in this case, you click on Save to Tableau Public or Save to Tableau Public as and choose different options. Okay? Or you can just click on the Save button and to take you to Save to Tableau Public. So that's if you're working in Tableau Public. So you can click on Try Tableau Online for free. And they'll give you a free trial of Tableau Online. Just sign up and they'll give you a free trial of Tableau Online. And you can just do this for this tutorial only. And then you can pay for it later if you want. Or you can just let your Tableau Online expire. But you can click on try it for free to try a Tableau Online. Now once we are here, right? To save our stuff to the server, 
you click on server and then to and then to tell you what you are signed into so in this situation i've signed into my tableau online workspace and from here you just click on publish workbook and then you get different options so in this case default i want to publish the default and then um, you can choose different name for it so i want to name this data analysis without coding and then you can add a description and you can add tags if you want so in this case you can choose the sheets you want to publish so the default is all but we can edit and i just want to publish my dashboard for example only dashboard i can actually can click on this to only do dashboard so if i click on select all i can click on only dashboard and only my dashboard is selected and then permissions as um, same as projects so basically you can edit the permissions if you had multiple many people in your group you could edit the permissions so different people have different permissions and then data sources one embedded in workbook so you can edit and then you can choose the different data sources so when you do publish separately your workbook this when you click on publish separately for your data source this workbook is going to disconnect from your local workbook and now and it will be connected to this data source that is published online but if you choose embedded in workbook then this workbook will still be connected to the data source to your local data source so when you click on publish separately then your data source will be published separately from the workbook and the workbook will now be connected to the online data source but if i have since i have like more work to do like if i want to keep working on this workbook locally then i'm going to do use embedded in workbook to make sure my workbook here is still connected to my local workbook all right if i was done with this workbook completely and i'm not doing any more work on it then I can choose publish separately, publish the data source separately. And then we can do show selections or show sheets as tabs. But I'm just gonna leave this the default now. I'm just gonna click on publish. And when it's done publishing, it will take me online to my site. And then to say publishing complete, and you can click on done. And from here you get a preview of the notebook that you just published and you can click on it voila you can view your notebook the way you want to view it and of course you have many different options here you can share it you can view the original that you can download it so there's many different options here but this is the same process that you follow to publish your workbook to the server and this is how you publish it online we can also publish it um, to tableau public okay but you have to use a different data source so publishing to tableau public is very simple you click on tableau public and save to tableau public and you sign into Tableau Public and click Publish. Very simple and straightforward. And once your data source is on Tableau Public, you get a visualization gallery like this. And then you can click on your visualizations. You can come to Tableau Public, click on your visualizations, and then you can see your visualizations. And of course you can play with it online 
Tableau online, Tableau server, or Tableau public are not the only way to publish your stuff. You could also save your file as a workbook. So you can to save it as a packaged workbook. You come here, you click on file, and then you do save as. And from here, you can choose um, TWB or TWBX. And in this case, I'm just going to choose TWBS. I'm just going to call it um, data analysis. with no code and you just click on save to save your workbook and with your workbook saved in w in twbx format somebody that has a a tableau desktop can open it and see what you see here and also create visualizations and interact with the data but somebody who doesn't have tableau desktop can download Tableau reader and they were able to look at the visualization and just explore the visualization But they can't create things the way you can with Tableau desktop You could also export your data and visualizations From from your dashboard you just click on dashboard and you go to export image And I'm just going to um, save this image and let's open the image to see what it looks like. So this is the image that I just exported from the dashboard. So you could export your stuff as an image. You could also export individual graphics from the sheet. So if I go to this sheet from here, I can make this fill up the entire view. I could let's say add labels to it. So let's say add and um, take cells and add it to label. And uh, yeah, let's just leave it like that and maybe format this a little bit. Currency custom. And just leave it like that. And from here, we can click on worksheet export image and you can choose to include your legends or not include your legend so in this case let's just include the color legend and let's include the title let's leave the caption out and i want the color legend to be on the bottom like this and this right here is the visualization we just saved from this worksheet and this is our color legend right here this color legend would probably would have been better, you know, on the right side. So, yeah. And you can also export your cross tabs. So basically, in addition to being able to export your images, you can export your data. So if you come to something like worksheet, export, you can export your data, or you can export this particular cross tab to Excel. So from here, you can do export data. And be able to export your data or in this case we could do export cross tab to Excel and then you get um, your Excel link blinking and then you click to open Excel and that is your cross tab here in Excel from here you can click on save to save your cross tab wherever you want to save it and yes, even this can be exported. So let's make our map look a little bit different. And then we can click on worksheet, export image. And let's leave it like this and click save. And this is our map image that we just exported. So that's the basics of how to save your data and export your data in Tableau.